Hi, I'm Angie. This is Buddy. I'm not in the gun room today. I'm in my lounge because I've got two bands with me. I've got the Mavericks and Elk. How are you guys? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to st um, start off by saying who you are and which band you play for? Because oh. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm Nathan, I'm the drummer for Mavericks. I'm Callum, I'm the singer and keyboard player for Mavericks. I'm Crash, I play guitar in, in both bands. I'm Blue, I'm the singer for Elk. I'm Jason, I'm the bass player for Elk. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Matt and I'm the drummer for Elk. I'm trying to remember that. <laughs> so, so you guys are all from Wellington, is that right? Uh, yeah. Currently. Yeah, like we all kind of like that, like joined in Wellington. Yeah. Okay. Where, where did you meet? Did you meet at school or? Um, yeah. uh, school of music, I met these two. Yeah. Because you all look still quite young in your early 20s. And yeah, yeah, a bunch of random circumstances. That's usually the case with bands, a bunch of random. Yeah. 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 And um, so you're down in Christchurch to do um, a show this weekend? Yeah, we're doing a tour. Dunedin first? Yeah, Dunedin yeah. and Christchurch. So you've driven down in a van? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what it was. Fun, a bit of a story. Yeah, that's a classic kind of rock and roll story. Yeah. Yeah. So have you, um, and you're doing a joint tour just as a promotion? to promote both bands? Yeah, just yeah. get out there. Yeah. Cool. And what kind of music would you describe Elk and Mavericks as? Mavericks I'd say is more like dancey rock, so it's synth elements. Yeah. It's like a bit more psychedelic. Cool, that sounds interesting. Elk is just sex rock. Sex like, rock, sex classic rock. Classic rock and roll and just partying and you know, fun. But also like a deeper side as well. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of all You've got the look for it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah. And so um, you're going to head off to the Needham early in the morning. What venue are you playing down there? Crown Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we head off at like 7am, so that's, that's going to be... That's an interesting venue. Fucking fun. 7am, did you say? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we got those beers we were there on three this yeah. morning, like, with a hip flask on a ferry, you know, yeah. it's great, so... It's so fun so far, I think. Like. Just as well we're nice and young. <laughs> yeah, we like to take our time, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so you're coming back to do <laughs> Christchurch on the Saturday night, and you're playing yeah. at Dark Room? Yeah. 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 Okay. And <laughs> then we're uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing a solo as well. This one got Strats and Stacks, which is a kind of like a <coughs> gig kind of um, running thing we're trying to do up in Wellington. We'll be doing when we get back. Awesome. <coughs> so have both bands done a um, recorded like singles or EPs or anything like that yet? Maverick's been recording for a little bit. Yeah. Got an EP was pretty much ready to go. And what's that called? Um, it's unnamed. Unnamed. <laughs> okay. and, so, <laughs> and so if um, people watching this interview want to check out the band's music, you guys do you have any band camp or um, YouTube or anything Basically like all of our stuff is updated via Facebook and Instagram, so yeah. um, any links and stuff will just all be by there. Yeah, so um, check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, give them so a like and yeah, yeah check for it out. Sure. Yeah, so um, what, where do you, how far do you want to take the bands? Like, do you want to get over to Aussie in the next uh, couple of years, or like, what's the uh, it's long more like goal? Faster than that, kind of more have things ready to go. Like by the end of the year for international kind of stuff. Yeah. Got a couple of things that we're trying to line up, and um, we want to be as big as we can be in the next couple of years. You know, so ambition. Yeah. That's great. Good group. Yeah. And so, yeah. is your music um the kind of music that you um promote to the rock? You feel that that kind of. Yeah, 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 anyone that feels like they would be cool to like kind of put it out there, you yeah. know, whoever who connects with it. Yeah, and so um, who, who manages you? Like, do you say so you self managed at the moment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, do, you, do you do things like apply for funding? Do you see on your funding and do no. your own radio plugging and that kind of thing? Is Not just yet, so we've been recording for that reason, so we yeah. have the material to. And yeah. so, do you see that it's quite an easy thing to do as, you know, as a young guy in a band? Oh, thing, just the, the funding and like the whole New Zealand music industry. Do you mm. think it's kind of friendly towards bands or? Yeah, I think so. Like, there's there's the opportunities there for people to use it. Um, this is more about like whether the people that are you know, wanting to give those kind of fundings are uh, also into what we're putting out there. So it's just kind of like right. whether they make that connection or not. It's just up to them. Mm. Um, I guess yeah. um, it's the uh, the day time that we've got the internet anyway. So the world's your oyster as far as um. Yeah. You know where you want to take it, and 
Exactly. Yeah. And so, have, have you got ideas for videos? And oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 We're gonna have to fill a lot of partying. I think so. We're just gonna have a lot of excuses to have some parties. Yeah. Great. I always tell the um, young bands that I work with, um, you know, I know a lot of them down here, that you, you know the importance of getting videos out. Yeah. Um, a lot of the time, you know, when you're at a party or hanging at your friend's house, everyone's always on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's a good way to share your music around. True. People yeah, share well, the links. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, our well, our hit <laughs> list. Um, we're, we're our like focus is on social media. You know, we want to yeah. have the um, have people look, and they're always looking at their phone. You know, so if they're looking at the phone, they see us. That's what we want. Yeah, that would be my advice to any young band out there yeah. that wants to be seen is make videos. And you don't have to it's spend a lot right. of money doing it. It's, you know, pretty much coming up with a good idea and, you know, making it happen. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just so like putting, it, putting your energy out there, you know. Yeah, that's so. too right. So I look forward to seeing something, you know, <laughs> in the near future. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And did you all start playing music young, get into it young? Like, is there any interesting stories about how you got into music or <coughs> just oh, natural? I was pretty young when I started. Yeah. I picked up the piano first, like keyboard, um, but just like, didn't take it seriously. Yeah. yeah. I picked up guitar when I was 12. Yeah. From there, I took it more, more I'm basically the exact copy of that. Eh? Like, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer, but I started with the piano anyway. Maybe when I was 12, I picked up the guitar. And who writes lyrics? Um, Song me. Lyrics? Um, for Alchemist. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any yeah. inspiration? What inspired Just fucking what it is. Oh, I'm going to ask you, Is that? Yeah, I'm going to ask you. Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit. No. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> Oh jeez, um, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> what, girls, girlfriends? Uh, honestly, it'd just be like everything in your life, well, you know, like, whatever you're going so through, and, be, um... <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they do have some inspiration there, yeah. um, you know, for sure. I mean, that makes a lot of the great rock songs that are still played today, mm. and things like that, yeah. yeah, cool, so um, have you got some more gigs lined up for up north when you get home? Um, studio yeah. time is like yeah more more yeah. studio time we just want to get all our stuff recorded I mean there's only so much that we can we don't want to oversaturate you know, we want to put our stuff out there for people to and listen to and do you record to. at home or do you go use a studio or? Um, well we, we practice at home we don't record at home we've got a, a studio um, kind of just down the road that we've got access to um, oh, due to these guys studying there um, but we practice at home I, I have a jam room in my room and I sleep on the floor so mm. yeah we just have to like the junk get set up and stuff and the <laughs> beds so are actually just soundproof on the wall and yeah, yeah. it's a big expense isn't it for young bands to um, have to come up with the money to record mm. the studio yeah, absolutely and, um, yeah. yeah find ways to do it um, it's handy do having it. access to places for free yeah, yeah for and sure and like 24 <laughs> hours like you know little places don't get that so we don't yeah. have it in our own house and even if it's just quiet you know it helps so yeah so what do you guys get into um, out of the music scene, like, or away from the band? Oh, um, no, this is Don't it. say gaming. No, no, I mean, like, music is literally <laughs> okay, all, we, okay. all we do. I mean, we, we wake up in the morning, like, well, we, we try to wake up at 9am, hit the gym, and then come back and just do music all day. Admin, like, one third of it is being in the band. So, and what, hold on a minute, some bands hit the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to, we got to, you know, go like kind of be healthy or something, you know, like to make us stop drinking and stuff. So maybe it's because I'm used to going with metal bands. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, um, yeah, one third of it's playing and you know performing, and two third of it's actually like the business side of it. Yeah. So we got to, you know, be able to structure ourselves. And yeah, practice. the business side. Yeah. There's a lot to. Lot yeah. to think about, isn't there? There's so much to it that yeah, people don't. But then, in a sense, we're just rock and roll, so we yeah. fuck it up. So, don't complain time. about spending ten dollars on a ticket to see local bands. Support mm. them, get out there, and mm. um, you know, if you can see these guys advertising, a good go. You know, yeah, I'm sure, sure it's worth every cent of the ten bucks that you probably charge. We'd like to hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, are you at the stage where you've got merchandise? Like We've got our CDs. We, we recorded a live EP, so mm -hmm. two tracks from each band, um, and that's yeah, that sounds sick. So we will put that out there. Um, when we get back, we're looking at T-shirts and all that kind of stuff. So mm. yeah. it's really really exciting to see some um, new young rock bands emerging. Mm. That's what New Zealand needs for sure. Mm. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a, there's a huge metal scene in New Zealand. There's a lot of metal bands, eh? There is. There is a lot of yeah, metal bands. especially with that dance, you know, techno
Yeah. See, it sounds really exciting. Well, Wellington scene is growing rapidly. Yeah, yeah Wellington's great, isn't it? Yeah, the, the response that From we've had, I've mean, played five shows in Wellington so far, and it's just, really? it's been yeah. hit. And you get a good turnout? Yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. you know, Pink and the Vinnies were quite, quite well at least, and, you know, everyone's dancing, so it's incredible. Good yeah. shit. That sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good yeah. time. It's good news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, look, look, thanks for popping in and seeing me, visiting me, and make sure um, when you do come back to Christchurch, you can come back and um, let us know how you're getting on. Thanks. Thanks. So yeah, check us out. Um, check out some local bands from Wellington. We are Mavericks, and we've got an EP coming out really soon. So keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> so all of our stuff you can find on Facebook and Instagram. It's at Elk Band NZ. Sweet. Oh uh, yeah, we'll be recording the single very shortly, so be excited for that. Check it out. <laughs>